just a, a great looking family. Kids look awesome. You guys are awesome. And uh, you do awesome stuff. Like you're, it's, you're actually for the good of the sport. And that's, that's so rare these days. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, well, I'm going to send it over to my wife when you get into the family stuff. She definitely, she definitely has more to say than I do. And I think you just like this. It's like sticking this mic in front of you and bothering you. Maybe we should talk about how good you guys look. I mean, pretty much four guys in a room that is smaller than a, a, a toilet stall. <laughs> All right, we're going to get friendly in here. We are. You're rubbing shoulders here. We're going to talk about some racing at hand now. Nate I don't want to hear Thrasher, the word slick Talon again. Hawkins running one, two. But Crockett Myers with a whole shot on an RM. He's been killing it on the starts. Crockett Myers really good off the start. Hey, it's Kevin and I, we stay together, and our hotel or cabin usually has multiple beds, but one is just for the luggage. And the other you know, we stay as close as we possibly can. We're the best friend can. that the best friend could be right here. All right. So Myers has been shoved back actually to third. Yeah, well, it was Talon Hawkins in the 71 making some moves. That's a My Lucas athlete they're letting us know, huh? Oh, Talon Hawkins. There you go. Okay. Yep. Yep. You, you know, I was able to make that pass. He had that slick miss and just slipped right by. <laughs> Nothing they could do to Slid stop right him. Slipped right by him. But Nathaniel Thrasher has been thrashing the competition in both of these super mini motos. Witt family going to go back and uh, do some modeling photos down by the creek with the coolest looking family out there. He got the baby style in too. Telling you what, get the REI, get to where's Jay Peterman from Seinfeld? They need to get some photos. Put oh, that that hey, they're a great catalog. time after hours too. Just relax and kick them back. They are the ones yeah. to hang out with. I, I'm I will, to yeah, tell but you, that bro. affected our performance yesterday morning. That was the problem. <laughs> no doubt. Yes, we played too much fun <laughs> on, uh, on, uh, on uh, well, it was Tuesday night, I think, down there. There's Max Volan. He's kind of uh, back off the pace currently right behind Crockett Myers. He's a Red Bull athlete. Volan working on the number 72, your whole shot award winner, Volan, and fourth, Myers third, Talon Hawkins second. Nate Thrasher is uh, way out front now. Nate Thrasher, I'm saying this is the performance of the week as far as I'm concerned. He has been dominating in his first two motos this week. He's now dominating in his third moto of the week. Look at that. Four he seconds a lot faster than anyone else. A 145 for the opening lap of Thrasher is blistering right now. Kevin, you're 100% right. He muscled his way out there, and he's using strength right now to make that happen. He's a big kid, too. If you look yep. at Nate Thrasher and Crockett Myers, two of the bigger kids on the uh, track, and that, that just tells me that Nate Thrasher is ready for a big bike soon yeah, as this Loretta's thing's over. Absolutely. This kid's physical. We're going to get Loretta's out of the way, and we're getting on a big bike, you know? He is a bad dude. A lot of people interested in Nate and his next uh, 10 years of employment, I guarantee. There's, there are talks. <laughs> going on right now with Nate Thrasher. He's got you know an offer to play. makes this class a little more intriguing. These super mini divisions, that's where Jet Reynolds was scheduled to race. Jet Reynolds, who had become nearly unbeatable at the ranch here the last couple of years, out with a brutal shoulder injury. So it would have been really interesting to see Thrasher. Often it's whatever class Reynolds is in, he's dominating, but when someone else is going four seconds faster than anyone else. That's like Jet Reynolds. I, I mean, Thrasher would have been right there no matter who was in this class. Yeah, so that, that would have been a real interesting matchup. Maybe we'll get it in a different class next year. Jet already playing around on the big bike back home. Yeah, and he is back on the motorcycle we saw recently. But uh, what was that, May? Got hurt at Cal Classic? April, yep. April, yeah. So Missed he's back the on the bike but wasn't able to qualify this year. So Nate Thrasher taking full advantage, and that has happened many times out here at the ranch. One of the riders who already has a confidence misses one. Another rider takes advantage, and you know Nate Thrasher's confidence is going to be sky high after these motos. How about sky high over that jump? Max Volan working on Talon Hawkins. What a great move outside, inside. Stood him up. There he goes. Traditional hand guards, the European look flowing all over the machine there. The number 11, Max Volan. Does he have time? Can he run and get Nate Thrasher? Four seconds quicker was Thrasher again, Jason Wygant. Uh, that has been consistent. Guys, the, the, the clouds have come back out again too, guys, so we don't have that blazing sun on top of it. It's going to hold just a little bit more moisture in this track. Going to keep things just a bit tackier than it normally is at this stage of the day. It's, say, 3 o'clock here at Loretta's. No, that is not an optical illusion. That is an 11-second lead. That is two straightaways. Thrasher over Volan. That is absolutely incredible. That might be the biggest lead I have seen in two laps of racing here this year anyway. He is absolutely yarding the field. Thrasher calls Tennessee home, man. He just goes back and forth, eats lunch at the house, yeah. cruises back. Rides the bike back. Yep. Yep. He's in school today as well. He got a pass to come race for three hours, comes back. <laughs> yep. Yeah, this is a, uh, a work to learn program, an internship. Work release program. Yeah, it gets yep. a little bit of credit. 
work yeah, release. Yeah, that's a different Megawatt one. Megawatt was in a totally different yeah, you and work West release Kane. program. Yeah. <laughs> yep. He's uh, he, he didn't run a KTM, but he might have had some orange clothing on. I don't know, Megawatt. Picking up trash. Some stripes. Some, some heavy bracelets. <laughs> All right, Megawatt's stepped up the, uh, the game this, these days. He's free and clear up here in the tower. We're good these days. But no the, more someday he's going to write a book about the, the early days of Megawatt. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh gosh. But these okay. prison cell walls could talk, uh, folks. <laughs> That's why he's so comfortable in this tower. And, yeah. and you know, yeah, it feels that like home. Yeah. Uh, about ten years from now, I'm going to hand you just a shoebox full of scribbled notes. Yeah, that's and, all your writing is. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And hand drawings and stuff. My days from the racing paper. <laughs> yeah, and then be like, okay, I I'll get try out my crayons. best with it. Yeah, I get out the crayons, hand you guys a story, and let you have at it. <laughs> Dude, my two columnists were you and Timmy Coombs. That's what I had to deal with <laughs> with the racing that's paper. That's what you those learned. Are my it's columnists. true. Yeah, it's those true. Are, that, was my, that was my editorial section of the racing paper. Megawatt and Timmy. Coons. Gosh. There's Nate Thrasher. Why do, why do I not look like I'm 60 years old? You should. Dealing with these guys. Gosh, man. And then we had an advice column from Jessica. Ask Jessica for relationship advice. Man, I'm a glutton for punishment. Okay, so Thrasher comes by. We actually just watched the 15 second gap in real time. We just paused the camera. Great job by everyone there in the Racer TV jail cell down there. It pretty much is. He's even got bars on the window. Maximus Volan comes Number 11, Talon Hawkins push back. Reezy. Oh, Reezy. He's fourth. Matt LeBlanc fifth. Crockett Myers sixth. Jaden Clough is seventh. Jeremy Ryan, Larry Reyes, and Caden Amaron. Man, Caden Amaron has not had a good start yet this week. He's salvaged some podiums despite that, but he's going to have a tough road to try to get from 10th to 3rd in this one. Brock Bennett, Sage Lewis, Brock Walker, Patrick Murphy, and Jose Gadil round out the top 15. No relation to Roger Gadil. <laughs> Thrasher still continuing to just beat this track into submission, man. He is just impressive to watch. He went ahead on the first lap, boom, pulled that jersey right out, just like Jason Anderson. It's totally untucked, unkept, if you will, but it works. Got a tool belt on there. Got the whole deal. Let's see if we can get Verizzi up here, man. He's also been working his way up from bad starts all week. Pressure being applied. Matt LeBlanc also on the radar. We haven't seen much of LeBlanc where he wants to be at the front of the pack so far this week. So LeBlanc and Verizzi trying to work together to move toward the podium. Good battle between Verizzi on the KTM and LeBlanc on the Yamaha. Yeah, those two hook up. They're both turning about a 201 right now, a little bit quicker than Hawkins ahead of them and on par with uh, Volan ahead of him. So those two might be able to use that momentum, put themselves in a little better position and work on that podium. You think right now he's put together three heaters now that Nate Thrasher is just going to kind of manage this race from this point forward. He's 17 seconds out front. You can definitely toss a championship away if you just keep hammering when you don't really have to. Yeah, you were talking about four laps or four seconds on the opening lap, Kevin. This guy's done about 4.2 per lap. So here we are at 17 seconds on lap number four. All right. There is second place rider, Maximus Volan. He's in no man's land right now. There's a little bit of a gap over Hawkins, but cannot see the leader, Thrasher. Thrasher and MTF products. So whatever they're doing with Thrasher to prepare for this race, don't change that. It has worked. Uh, just already Thrasher has had success here at Loretta's, but this is next level and really making a name for himself going into the future, pulling away big time from everyone in both super mini classes and super mini is not a joke these days it's really one of the most talent packed classes of all there's thrasher on the 48 just want everyone to know he is shorter than me we had money Barely. on it that uh, yeah you'll see on the podium he's i'm probably shocked he's so huge. this week though yeah he might be taller than he was on tuesday you need to draw a line every time he goes up to the podium yeah, yeah. see if it grows yeah. mark throughout the day yeah mark thrasher tuesday they got him on the stretching rack everywhere every uh, in between motos look at that nate thrasher hey do you think the number 79 is back home in Bakersfield, California, just stewing, or is he just not want anything to do with this right now? Is he one of those guys that doesn't even want to watch the race if he's not participating in it? Yeah, he's probably taking a baseball, throwing it through the TV screen with the other hand, not the injured right. arm. But they'll probably kick the TV down. 
Look See at, you soon, Nate Thrasher. Yeah, Jet Reynolds has yeah. owned this division for a couple of years now, and he's done it as a younger kid, too. You remember, he came in here and back there. He was like 13 knocking out super mini wins. That never happens. That's yeah. usually your last year you're that guy, like Nate Thrasher, for instance. Well, Thrasher, right now, you take a look at that body position. You take a look at the body English, the movement on that guy, allowing the bike to move freely underneath of him. That guy is thoroughly in control right now, riding with 100% confidence, and uh, he's manhandling that bike right now. That's exactly how we've got the time we've got. Hard work. He hangs out, like you said, at MTF, and the motos and the guys, the talent that's there, he jumps in with the big bikes at times, and uh, you're getting better down there. You just hang out. If you can stay the course and deal with, with, uh, with Little Johnson, Big Johnson. Colleen. Colleen, she's probably the real one. Uh-huh. So Thrasher wheeling through those braking bumps. Perfect arc through that corner. Fastest lap was a 156. Now he's backed it down to a two-minute flat, just managing the race now. Got still another 17 seconds. Looks like Boland's kind of on pace with him as well for these last couple of laps. Thrasher's done everything right. He's also nailed the starts in every moto as well. So pretty much the only thing when you have this kind of speed that's going to derail you is getting caught up there in someone's mess. We just saw it in that college boy class. We're first and second in the first moto. We're both down early, and that ruined any chance of a podium. So Thrasher's avoided the gremlins so far, but we have seen time and time again, especially in the mini cycle classes, someone comes in with 2-2, 2-2, 1-1-1-1, two, 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 one, 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 and then the third moto, it becomes completely unglued. So uh, Thrasher... Certainly cannot take anything for granted heading into the third moto of this class, even if he wins this one. I believe he's ridden a different brand the last three years. He was on a KTM, the Rides Unlimited team, goes to Kawasaki the next year, now back to KTM in three different years. Nothing's really, he can ride whatever you put under him, it sounds like. Yeah, man. He's, oh, Jeremy Ryan, I believe, we're looking at here, trying to creep into this group. He's just at the back of it. Now, Jeremy, there he is on the Kawasaki way back there. Jeremy was up there earlier in the week, then had some crashes late in the motos, cost him positions, and since then it has been a struggle. So good to see him back on the radar. You're looking at uh, LeBlanc on that 29 Yamaha and Verizzi on the 63, KTM battling fourth and fifth. Crockett Myers. Did we oh. lose Crockett? Oh, down goes LeBlanc. There's the 63 of Verizzi. He goes by. LeBlanc sits and watches those kids go by. I think Matthew's ready to get on that big bike. He's kind of a big kid, right? on that Yamaha. Yeah, take a look now, Jason, uh, Kevin, at our lap times. Uh, second place through about fifth place, separated by maybe a second and a half now. You got four guys uh, under two seconds apart right now. Here's Evan Ferry popping into view in the number 15th spot. Kate Amaran has jumped up view. to eighth. Talon Hawkins' view. He just got inside the Ten Commandments and made the pass. That's going to be good for a third. So this is the Joshua Verizzi we expected to see throughout the week, now rolling up into a podium spot. So he's got it on court. I believe he's got the red hair. So uh, you know he's quick. That's how it works. He actually had a hair transplant. He's a blonde kid. Really pulled all the hair out hair transplant. Went and got red hair and on the black market. I don't know if that's legal. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it is uh, super mini. We don't have a stock class, so you can run someone Whatever, else's hair. Someone else's hair. And he went and had freckles tattooed onto his face. Really? Yep. Just to be even more like more red Carmichael hair. and yep. the rest. Took the melanin out, get sunburned really easy now, all in the hopes of being a great redheaded motocross champion. Did he go with the synthetic red hair or the cadaver red hair? It's two it's different cadaver. ways to no, do it. No, it's real human hair. Okay, so he went with the cadaver. Two different ways to have the surgery done. Some people go with the goat hair. It's a little more thick, a little more coarse. <laughs> seems like a sponsorship opportunity to me. Yeah, HRS. I know. Uh, I know. Seems like there should be graphics out there, you know, moto hair. Yeah. Uh, red hair. <laughs> moto hair for men. Red, red hair. Don't care. Yeah, you know. You get it done here at the racetrack. Come here a week early, let it set in. By the time it comes in, the yep. red hair will have filled your body. You will become a true redhead, and you will be winning motos in no time. It's got, it needs a week lead time. That's all they need now. To, to set in. What about the gorilla hair that Wes Kane had? <laughs> that he had purple gorilla black hair. hair was so black it was purple when yes, he dyed his it. Hair you remember was that? So it was so black shiny. Was purple. Yes. Wes, I'll give him, he has great hair. I mean, it's super thick. It's not going anywhere. He, he yells at it, stay on my head. It won't <laughs> leave. <laughs> That's You're not falling out. There. Not any chance. Yeah. Hey, his hair yeah. wakes him up. Hey, we're West Kane's hair, and it wakes and him up. And you're not. Morning. We're West Kane's <laughs> hair, and you're not. He doesn't even need a pillow. No. He's got it built right in, man. 
big fluffy head of hair. So there's Verizzi on the 63. Nice charge through traffic. He had that battle going on with LeBlanc. LeBlanc fell down. Then he got Hawkins. Next rider on the list, see Hawkins there in the 71. And let's see if Jeremy Ryan can get in that mix. We had LeBlanc with a crash, picked himself up. Jeremy Ryan would be next. Nate Thrasher, two lap card alert. It's in route. And so is our leader, 21 seconds. Jeez, oh man. He has guy. completely dismantled this field. Something to say about confidence. When those two kids meet at Minio's, whenever Jet and Nate Thrasher jump on the track, that is uh, it's must see TV. There's Max Volan, number 11, Red Bull Orange Brigade rider. He is doing fantastic work out there as well. Solid in that number two spot. Barizzi is third. Hawkins, the first non KTM to break up that KTM freight train. Hawkins on a Husqvarna. Yeah, and solid, man. That describes Volan really well. Uh, not making any mistakes, doing real consistent laps. Been <clears throat> 202, 203 the entire day. So far, Barizzi, you know. Uh, had a couple little mistakes, uh, got stuck up in a couple corners right there. Not really able to close that gap as much as he'd like for sure. And then of course Hawkins uh, just fell off the pace in the last lap or so, had a mistake I'm sure that cost him a few seconds. But uh, right back to Matt LeBlanc, Matt LeBlanc now turned into 210. So uh, last few laps here guys having a few problems. Everybody but Thrasher, so Thrasher not having any problems. Got a 20 second gap up there. Max Volan, uh, once again, just doing a great job of hitting all of his lines and doing good laps. So uh, pretty much making it easy on the rest of the field right back there. Uh, just gonna fight it out for themselves. Cool to see uh, Varese run the number 63. He's normally number 24 and he's running 63 in honor of one of his dear friends that uh, we lost a few years ago, Jacek Sloan. So he was really pumped. He posted that on Instagram. He got the number he wanted to uh, honor his good friend that he still mentions, talks about. They were very close. They're two families. So cool little deal there put together by Joshua Varese. There's Nate Thrasher. Just absolutely putting it down. 20-second lead. He had a 17-second lead in three laps. He's just kind of hung out. Did what hey, he had to do hey I've come up with an awesome nickname for Nate Thrasher. Are you ready? You want to hear it? Yeah, let's go ahead. Get your dumb joke out of the way. The Thrasher. Uh oh, wow. What do you think? Wow, that's going to stick. I that's going to stick. That's, man. Nate the Thrasher Thrasher. Basher, Thrasher. Don't want to say Crasher. The Masher. Hashtagger. Nate Thrasher the Hashtagger. Lap number eight, the two-lap card is out. I believe the white flag is about to pop out for Nate Thrasher. There it goes. He's got one more lap before he sits on 1-1 one, one Moto scores. Oh, we know. Thanks, man. Shan Garcia from Texas. We announced with Shan out at Freestone. Shan, welcome to the ranch. You're straight to work. Thanks, Kevin. You guys have been doing a great job the last two days. been uh, very fun listening, entertaining, listening to you guys, and uh, really cool to be here. How about this cloud coverage? It's like cool weather. It's not typical of Red Atlanta hot. It is. We were talking about that earlier. It's not just oppressively hot out here. And thanks for telling us how good we are. We need to hear that more often, Shan. I like it. If you can come up about every 30 minutes, that'd be great. Well, let me tell you something, Kevin. Your looks don't go you take you anywhere, so you got to sound good. <laughs> you are 100% right. No, I agree. Thanks a lot, Shan. Thanks for you brought the briefcase. Oh, boy. You don't want to. If he opens that briefcase, you're out of gas. You're done. That briefcase has gotten me a few times at Freestone. Shan Garcia, the voice of Texas Motocross, as we continue to watch Nathaniel Thrasher working his magic. Got about a half a lap to go. He's got a 20 second lead. Shand on that Orange Brigade ride. I bet he's going to have an energy drink sponsor here in the near future. There's no doubt about it. Nate the Thrasher Thrasher. Wow. Thrashing. That's so good. Thra thrashing so good. Nate the Thrasher Thrasher. The Basher Thrasher Thrasher. The Master Thrasher Basher. 
Kevin, you'll remember this instantly. What is the longest set of nicknames we ever invented here at Loretta Lynn's? Uh, you know Adam it. simply eating a pack of Rolo Cincerillo, right? Isn't that how it worked out? Well, that's that's the that's the yes. Cooper Adam. Spud Webb Thank you. with Mr. Cooper. That's the one. There it is, Cooper Webb. We, you can yep. go 900 different ways with Cooper Webb, but he's Guy coming Hangler, your way right Mr. now. Cooper Spud Webb. That was, we could go all day on that one. Yep. Nate Thrasher is your winner. He wins going away. There's a look at Max Bolin. One more turn to go for him. As Megawatt looks at his clock going, man, where is the rest of the field at out there? There's Volan, and then you have the number 63 of Joshua Varese wrapping up your podium. Let's see, did Jeremy Ryan get inside the top? He's sixth. I don't think he's going to get Matthew LeBlanc. Heck of a ride there for the number 10 of Jeremy Ryan. And we will wrap it up here in the tower. Throw it up. I'm going to crow hop it down your way. Use two, use two hands. Look it into your glove, Jason Wygant. Here it comes. Take this podium. And Hope from uh, KTM, super stoked at the one, two, three for the uh, KTM here. He's got a lot of water and drinks to hand out here. A lot of riders to keep cool. I'm surprised if Nate Thrasher is even sweating at this point, man. He is good to go. All right, so they got the motorcycles on up. Rider's going to cool off. It's not quite typical Loretta's hot, but it's no longer cool. This would be warm for any other place in the United States. We know it can get a whole lot worse. Still don't quite have the humidity yet. Don't say I'm going to jinx it, everybody. Come on. We've already been living on the right side of things for the last three days. That's fine. And already downloading with uh, Brian Johnson from MTF is Nate Thrasher talking about his moto, probably figuring out ways they can be even better the next time out, which is a scary thought. Let's hand out another gold medal to Nathaniel Thrasher. Uh, now your confidence has to be sky high after these motos, but what were you thinking coming into the week? Were you expecting to do this kind of damage? He's got to get the hat on. Were you expecting to do this kind of damage? Because it has been unbelievable. Yeah, I was coming into the week, and uh, I felt really good all, all year. I just My starts weren't there all year, and uh, it was only five lap races. So it was hard to come through the pack and then just worked in them all summer and uh, just got the starts pretty good here, fourth, fourth every moto is what we were looking for and uh, just got to the lead and uh, got out front. Man, so now that you're doing this, these strong lap times and big leads in every moto, how much more confidence do you have since the week has even begun? Yeah, um, a lot more confidence, but uh, we just still got to keep digging. We want more, and uh, once we get out front, we're just trying to put in consistent laps and not go down. The lappers are so bad out there. Um, lab, like, coming up to them, they right in your line, the blue flag. Uh, they're getting out of the way, some of them, but some don't, so. All right. Who do you want to thank, man? I got to thank Monster Energy, uh, KTM, Pro Taper, Oakley, Seven, Alpine Star, my mechanic Matt, whole MTF crew, my mom, my dad, the man up above, uh, Hope, Nate Ramsey, Nahilo, Lynx Racing, FMF, Factory Connection Suspension, uh, Vertex Pistons, everybody thank you. Man, yeah, a lot of people to thank, a lot of people getting on board this train. Another dominant performance by Nathaniel Thrasher. We'll see if he can keep it going. If not, also in title contention, a bunch of other KTM riders as well, looking for the second place finisher. Again, on the uh, number 11 Orange Brigade KTM. Let's bring him on up, and let's hear it for Maximus Voland. Well, come on over to the center here. It looks nice on camera. All right, take us through your moto there, Maximus. I'm uh, going off to a pretty decent start. Got uh, some of those inside dudes pushed out wide, so I had to check up a little bit. And uh, I just uh, pushed hard the first four laps and uh, got up to second. And I seen Nathan up there, and I uh, tried putting on a push. I just couldn't make it happen. But uh, there's another moto, and like six more motos after this. This is the next Super Mini class, and uh, looking to get a win in that one. Oh, yeah. So what do you do for the quick energy turnaround, man? That's not a big break. Uh, bananas and Pedialyte. Okay, all right, that's the secret sauce. All right, who do you want to thank? Yeah, I'd love to thank uh, KTM Orange Brigade, Red Bull, Troll Design, Scott Goggles, FMF, Dunlop, Nilo Concepts, Motion Pro, um, Mechanic Brent, everyone at uh, TLD, my dad, my grandpa, Pronto Real Estate, John Moore, and uh, everyone else, thank you. All right, second place. Let's hear it for Maximus Voland. 
Good job, Max. And I'm looking for Joshua Verizzi, who takes a third in this one. Verizzi has been struggling out of the gate this week, but he made it work. Key passes when he needed to make them happen. He made them happen quick, and it brings him up to a podium position. Joshua Verizzi. Bro, you're riding good. We just got to get you off the gate a little better. Yeah, um, I had a bet way better gate pick this time than any of my other gate picks, so I got a good start. Um, wasn't the best gate. The gate is pretty choppy. Yeah end of the day but i got a good start and i think i was i don't think i was top five but i was up there for sure and i was just trying to find lines you know scope out lines that i saw on the site lap and you making sure i stay smooth and i found really good lines and i wasn't tripling through the ten commandments or hitting the triple after it all the couple of race days so today i finally said i got to do it if i want to be up on the box so i just sent it and it felt good and thanks to just everybody that you know gets me up here Sent it all the way to the podium. Nicely done. Who do you want to thank, Josh? I'd like to thank the Lord for keeping me safe, KTM Warren Brigade, my mom and dad, my little brother, all my friends and family, Randy Lawrence, um, Thor, Parts Unlimited, Scott Goggles, Twisted, uh, Pro Taper, uh, JaysXLine.com, For the Peeps, um, just everybody. If, I know I'm forgetting some people, but uh, Alpine Star, Dunlop, Factory Connection, and uh, everyone else I forgot, thanks. Oh, and FMF, and then everyone else I forgot, thanks. Okay. There it is, third place, it's here for Joshua Verizzi. I think I got a whole shot award to hand out here in uh, Super Mini. All right, KTM folks are happy with Joshua as well. Crockett, Bell Helmets, whole shot award, $100, and Suzuki Man, Crockett Myers. Been ripping some starts on that Suzuki, man. Looking good. Move over here. It's a little bit better on camera. How'd that one go? Oh, it was good. I got off to a really good start. My dad packs a really good gate, and um, I just got a good start and went out there, rode my own race, made a couple mistakes, but all in all, it was a good race. Who do you want to thank, Crockett? I'd like to thank the Lord Jesus Christ for keeping me safe. My mom, my dad, Suzuki Cycles, Chris Wheeler, Don Lop, Rob Fox, Jeff Cernix, Answer, Alpine Star, Ethica, um... Bell Helmets, Benny, FMF, FMF Joel, um, and everybody else I forgot, thank you. Let's hear it for Crockett Myers. And Bell Helmets, 100 bucks, are gonna take his photo and I'm going to send it back up to the announcers.